What's up? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing the rarest deck in my collection, probably one of the most expensive decks in my collection that I've ever had. This is the VIP Tour Edition deck by David Blaine, which is currently selling on eBay for up to 650 bucks. You could buy a small card for that price. Now, I'm not one to pay $650 for anything regarding playing cards. Mind you, I might spend $1,000 on a puzzle, but that's just me and I'm mentally deficient, so. <laughs> Uh, here's what it looks like. Tuck case is a matte black with a gold foiling, no embossing on the tuck case. You have David Blaine's logos on either side. Uh, the VIP stamp at the top, which lets you know that this is a VIP edition as opposed to his regular edition. Um, I don't think there are many differences between the two decks other than the tuck case. The gold on the VIP edition is like a rose gold as opposed to like a yellowish gold. They are printed by the Expert Playing Card Company and there are a few hidden secrets within this uh, deck as with most of David Blaine's cards which are cool. What makes this deck super rare is that they were underprinted, like super underprinted, very very limited quantities. Even David himself told me that he doesn't have many decks for himself. So if you bought the tickets to meet him at his show where he would perform a little bit of magic before the show, he would then uh, give you a little swag bag and in this you would get one of these VIP edition decks. I thought it'd be fun to review it here because this is not something you're gonna see every day. This is a super, super rare deck. So if you're not interested in buying it and you just wanna see what it looks like, this video is for you. We're gonna check out how they fare, how they handle, and what the difference is between this deck and the other similar decks which he released. So before we get into it, guys, if you don't mind, throw a like up, not an L. A like and let's get into uh, reviewing these VIP decks by David Blaine watch all right so here we go this is the tour edition David Blaine rare VIP deck the tuck case looks like this on the back of it as I mentioned the tuck case has a lot of gold foil and matte black looks really nice here you can see this is interesting with a light you can kind of see like the dings and nicks so I mean that's just normal that's what happens with every matte stock and matte paper you don't see it as much on white because you you won't see the contrast this here expert playing card company made in PRC I don't know what that means I think they're manufactured in Taiwan. Now it is to be noted. This is uh, this is one thing though that I that I discovered. David uh, handed me three decks, and the three decks were as follows. There was the VIP tour edition, and the big difference here is that you have that VIP stamp as opposed to none here. Also, this is a rose gold tuck case. It's hard to see on camera. Maybe with the back, you can actually see a little bit better. So rose gold uh, tuck case, I had to check to make sure, as opposed to like a yellowish gold. Really hard to make out the difference, but there is a very subtle difference. Uh, the main difference again being the VIP stamp versus the uh, pips over here. Other than that, these two decks are absolutely identical. The same stack, so they do come in Mnemonica stack. They do come with uh, jokers that are sort of mirrored jokers. And we'll talk about the jokers in a second. And everything else is the same. Uh, the whole deck is the entirely the same. The only difference is the the tuck case which makes one of them super rare and the other one uh, also rare just not as but one thing I did notice is that he also gave me the superior these are the superior skull and bones deck released by expert playing card company um, sort of like a silver colorway on the box design the difference is the cards here are uh, are white and black kind of like that old-school skull and bones deck made by a Jackson Robinson and again the cards are identical the same stack same everything same exact everything. So not much of a difference in the quality between a $600 deck and a $8 deck. Um, however, that's, uh, those are the main differences. So we're not going to be reviewing these two. I'm just going to you know, for continuity, I'm gonna review uh, this deck here, which is essentially the same as these two other than the colorway. So as I mentioned, the cards do come in Mnemonica stack as with most of David Blaine's playing cards and uh, most of mine as well. Here's something really interesting. This is the Ace of Spades, by the way. The Ace is really beautiful. I'm not sure if Mark Stutzman, actually, you know what? You know who did this? This is probably Jackson Robinson. So I'm guessing Jackson Robinson did this because that looks like his work as well. He's the guy who did the, uh, the Federal 52 on Kickstarter, which was like the most funded deck in history. Uh, looks really, really dope. One thing I noticed is that the black, and I asked Bill about this, and I was like, is that dark green? He's like, no, it's metallic black, but it does look like a really dark sort of green. You can't hardly tell on video, but in person. So you get two jokers in here. They are mirrored jokers, which is really cool. I love the, uh, I love the idea of the mirrored jokers. The artwork is always great. 
Uh, but the Jokers hold a bit of a secret here as they are clues to the marking system on the back of these cards. And the marking system, David showed me this personally and taught it to me. It is extremely ingenious. I think it's great. It's one of the, probably one of the best marking systems I've seen other than Speed Readers by uh, Garrett Thomas and obviously the White Lions marking as well. I'm not gonna teach you the marking system. I'm gonna let you discover it if ever you get these decks. So if you wanna order, you can actually order the Superior brand, which is the exact same deck as this um, off their site. And I'll leave the link below. Two things to consider for the order is first of all this clock with the dials so actually no dials just the clock and uh, down here you have like some pips those two things together will allow you to figure out the marking system normally this is the marking system test when you're looking for a marking you're doing this so normally you see like a difference on the back design there is absolutely no difference on the back design whatsoever. So it makes it really, really difficult, which is really clever. Uh, the back design is a metallic gold. So it's not a foil gold, but a cool metallic gold, which gives off a nice, just a nice little reflection. I love the color, by the way. Uh, it's not too yellowy. It's just nice and it contrasts well with the black. Th these are probably be nice with gold and white as well, but I really like that. It looks fancy. The court cards, the court cards, as with most of David's cards, as with all of David's cards have people in them which are close to David. So this, for instance, is uh, Bill Kalush. He is the founder and CEO of Expert Playing Cards. There's David himself. You have Doug McKenzie and Aussie Wind on the other kings. Not sure about the queens and the jacks. I know one of the queens, I think is his mother. Uh, I think the queen of spades actually. And she's actually, this is cool, she's holding, uh, as with most of David's cards, there's a reveal. She's holding the two of diamonds, which is a really cool trick. And you could say, uh, you know, the card that you're holding on to is your card and she says no and no the card that she's holding on to and she's holding the two of diamonds so cool little trick there incorporated um, other than that as I said they are marked they're stacked and there's that reveal and that is about it for the surprises as it's an expert playing card deck you don't find two extra ad cards so they have 54 cards not 56 now let's talk about feel and stock <laughs> So they farrow really well, traditionally cut, so you can farrow them from the bottom up, which is really nice. And right out of the box, they farrow really well, so no worries there. Um, because they are thicker, they do feel thicker, and expert playing card stock has always felt thicker. Uh, they're great for aerial shots, because if you need that extra spin on those cards, you can really pull it off well with these. Also, because they are thicker and the stock feels sturdier and more dense, uh, they won't warp as easily as uh, USPCC cards, uh, which makes them probably better for if you're working in a, in a very humid environment or on a hot summer day, these will probably last you a lot longer. That being said, I personally am not a big fan of expert playing cards. Uh, not because of the designs. I love the designs. And in fact, most of the tuck case work that they've done has been completely ingenious and they've really taken it to another level. However, uh, the feel and stock, see right now the fans are absolutely beautiful, but I played with a deck, check this out. So I played with this deck for about a day and look at the, so there's a big difference in the fan here. As you can see, it's, star it's starting to sort of clump up. And although they clump, it's not a big deal. Uh, but one of the things is this here. And so when the cards get crimped, they kind of stay that way and it, the cards just feel a little bit more clumpy. Look when I spread them out. So here, we'll do a lapal spread. So a lapal spread is probably a good way to make it spread nice and even, but even then it's not, you know, it just feels a little bit clunkier. Even a pressure fan, you know, feel like it just feels, uh, feels thicker, feels clunkier. Springs, however, are quite nice because they're thicker. They will spring louder and probably even uh, further. For cardistry, they're great because the packets tend to stick together. They're not, uh, they're not super slippery. So they tend to stick together, which makes it a lot easier to use. I think it's because I'm so used to USPC and the quality of USPC and the thin crushed stock, but some people love a thicker stock. I know uh, Patrick Coon's cards are um, done with expert playing cards, and I know that uh, Alex Pandre has also printed a lot of cards with them. I don't know if I would ever personally print with uh, expert playing cards. Um, that being said, they're always improving their stock and their quality, just like Cartamundi. They're always trying to catch up to USPCC. I 
do appreciate other companies coming up and trying to improve their quality because it only competition only breeds excellence and uh, it breeds better quality for everybody. So there you go. That is pretty much the review for these cards. They, uh, I keep dropping them. Uh, they did a good job on the design. I think it's kind of funny though that this is kind of like David's decks have always for me been like the most amazing decks of cards and not not just because it's David Blaine. The feel, the ideas behind them, the marking, the stock, the box, everything just was amazing. And now I feel like this one, it already, this is already a deck that exists that he just like kind of put his name on the tuck case and was like, oh, these are mine now. And I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like, I feel like I preferred like split spades or white lines or these, you know, even even, you know the Stoics like those were David's these feel like David just borrowed these and, and put his logo on uh, no offense to David or, or to Bill they, they do look amazing and the artwork is incredible and the marking system is ingenious I just feel like it needs to be David's deck do you know what I mean that's just me that's my personal opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this deck um, and about maybe the other David Blaine decks if that's something you guys are into but anyways that's it for uh, this review of the most expensive and rare deck that I own Hope you enjoyed. Oh. Uh, oh, this is cool. I never actually thought to sit down doing a review. I could do a review, whatever. Guys, I uh, just wanted to say this as well. I got to perform Voodoo, uh, which is my effect that I came up with uh, for David Blaine, which is really cool. So it's kind of come full circle. I've gotten to show him, he loved it. So that's his signature and uh, in the other card. I've linked the video to Voodoo. If you guys want to learn it, it's 10 bucks. It's below. So check that out if uh, you're keen and we'll see you in the outro. <laughs> All right, guys, that about wraps it up for today's review. What a gorgeous day. We've had some beautiful weather uh, recently. By the way, by the way, a few things I gotta take care of uh, before I leave on a trip, and I'll get into that in a second, but I will be doing a few TV things. I got some morning shows to do. No green screen suit this time, but uh, hopefully I'll reserve some other surprises. Also working on that giveaway. And lastly, I'm going to Germany. I'm going to Germany to visit my family for like 10 days in a couple weeks. Um, while in Germany, to all my German uh, Ram fam, <laughs> there I will be doing a meetup somewhere in the southwest of Germany so that's vague as hell but it will be short notice that's just how I roll very unorganized <laughs> but if you guys are interested and you're in the Germany area uh, I'll be posting it on my Instagram so make sure to follow me on IG and I will let you guys know when and where that's happening so guys thanks for watching again like this video subscribe if you're new here hit that bell and we'll see you on the next video peace